<laughs> hey folks, Alan Manic, the Hot Rod Hippie here. Once again, it is Tuesday, and that means it's Tooltip Tuesday. So let's see what I have for you this week. So this week's Tooltip Tuesday is a pretty simple one, a pretty straightforward one. It is digital calipers. Whether you're an auto tech, a fabricator, a do-it-yourselfer, having a set of digital calipers around is a really handy tool for your arsenal. So I have this set from Fowler. I've had this set for quite some time. It's pretty beat up, the screen's all cracked up, but they still work just fine. These are handy, quick measurement tools for a lot of different applications. Now, they're not a machinist tool. These are not meant for taking them over to the lathe or the mill and getting exacting tolerances. That's not what these are for. They're for quick measurements, but they're going to get you much more precise quick measurements than say a rule wheel or a tape measure. Now let's say you're an auto tech. Well, these can be a really handy tool for things like say measuring a yoke. You need to figure out what U joint goes with this drive shaft you have so you can order a replacement one. Go ahead and measure from seat to seat on these and go ahead and check what size U joint you're going to need. A drive shaft shop should be able to help you out based off those measurements or your part supplier. Say something like a seal. You need to check that that new seal you got is gonna fit the yoke you have for say a pinion seal. Check the outside diameter of this yoke and then go right ahead directly over to that seal and check the inside diameter of that. I use these all the time to check material thickness. Say I'm checking a piece of material so I can go ahead and mate it up to a existing piece. Well, I'll use these, check the material thickness of the existing piece and the new piece, make sure I'm jiving, whether I'm lining up with what I need. Now sure, there are quick handy sheet metal gauges for that purpose, but I like to just have this around because it's a much more versatile tool overall. Most of these digital calipers can be switched between inch and millimeters. So if you have measurements that are in metric, or if you are somebody not of the US who uses the metric system, these things can still be really handy for you. I can use the depth check at the back and go ahead and slide it down into the hole, check it, and then compare it against the hardware that I have. Well, yeah, that bolt's pretty short or that bolt is too long for that hole. It's never gonna work in there. Now for say this set or a lot of the sets you can find, they go up to about six inches. So from zero to six inch or up to 152 millimeters for those on the metric system. You know, anything from zero to six inch, as long as it fits within this jaw area, you can go ahead and measure the thickness, the size, the diameter of it. And it can be really handy for figuring out what size hole you need to drill to pass a piece of material through, how big the ball of foil you made is if you want to do something like that. I can't stress enough the fact that I use these calipers every single day when I'm fabricating or very often when I was a tech as well. Now there are plenty of uses for these. I've already highlighted a few of them. There's one more that I do not endorse, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. So say I want to scribe a one inch line on a piece of sheet metal. I'll set these to one inch. I can use the screw to lock them in, hold them in their spacing. I can go ahead and put one side of the jaw against the edge of the material and then use the point of the other one to act as a scribe to scribe a line on the piece of material. Now that's a use that I said I don't endorse because even if these are hardened jaws, you're going to wear your jaws out over time doing that. So you're going to be wearing on a tool, especially if you spend some money on a good one, that might not be something you want to be doing. But if you pick up a cheap set that are made of metal, well then these can help you out in scribing lines as well. Now this Fowler set that I have here, they go for about 32 bucks on Amazon, but there's also ones on there that are made of, uh, they claim carbon fiber. I don't know about that, but $9.99 for a set of those. So if you just are a do-it-yourselfer and you want to have a set around the house for quick measurements of hardware when you're working around the shop, that can be a really handy set for you. All right, folks, I cannot recommend enough having a set of calipers around. I have a set in my toolbox. I have a set at home. I should probably have a set in my car at this point for quick measurements when I'm on the road, but they are really handy. I recommend picking yourself up a set. You can find links below to a couple of the sets I mentioned. Go ahead and throw the video a like if you found it interesting. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you have any special uses for these things that you find useful, or do you just use them every day like I do and you find them invaluable? Go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more content like this every week. Thanks for coming around, folks.